And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And what we're getting ready to bring you is live action from the All Svenskan. It's Stuart Gordon versus North Shipping. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. So the initial 11 for the home side. Well, as you can see, the centre forward drops into midfield and the wide players stay high up the pitch. When played well, it creates a numerical advantage in midfield and makes it difficult for the back line to know who to pick up. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, it's a 4-3-3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. And so the battle commences. Berg. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. And a chance to whip it in here. Newman Christopher Newman plenty of options Traustason timely intervention Berg. Well, they've lost the ball. Berg. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. Newman he continues his run and a throw in forthcoming chance to play it in and that is how to block Christopher Newman well, the flag has gone up, it was really close. Berg. Well, great read there to intercept. He has teammates around him, but they dealt with the threat posed. And they need to get tighter here. It's got to be! And it's in! 1 0, they breach the defence.
Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. But when he shoots, I expected him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. So almost at the break here and not quite going to plan for the home side. Work to do, Stuart. Well, I've been a little disappointed with their attacking play. It's all been a bit too slow. If they can pass into their front areas with more quality, switch play quicker and be more positive in 1v1 situations, I think they'll get back into this. Nice to attack from the wide areas. Now just the tackle that was needed. It's a weighted pass. Will he finish? And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. While the movement in the box is equal to it, it's such good timing. What a goal. So, a level contest, 1-1. One, one. And he read it well, intercepting it. And the counter looks on here, options available. And we will have just one additional minute. And he takes on the shot. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, it was a vital goal and at a crucial time, you have to say. Certainly changes the complexion of the game now, but it's whether they can take the momentum into the second half as they've struggled at times today. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Not a pass that lacks quality. Johansson. Well, keeping it on the ground, slightly off target, however. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage. Crossing possibilities. Well, a good place to win it back, and let's see what it leads to. And that'll be offside. Magnus Eriksson. Can he put them in front? 
Oh no, he's missed the opportunity. And they remain level. Well, he just lacked composure there, didn't he? They should be ahead now. Sigurdsson, Cisse, Traustason, Eriksson, and on the ball Gunnarsson, committed challenge, still level here but the pressure escalating and reading it absolutely superbly. Twenty minutes remaining. Berg. Well, as you can see, the hosts have had most of the ball, but in terms of creating chances, they've been well below their normal standards. Unless that changes quickly, it's going to be a really frustrating day for them. Now the pass not finding its target. He's got the right idea with that pass. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Oh, good vision. Could take the lead. Oh, showing good patience. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. Well, that pass easy on the eye. Is it going to be? Oh, masterful defending to prevent what looked like a certain goal. Five minutes of the 90 still to go, and the teams cannot be separated. Can they grab the lead late on? And he's broken free. Oh, they've done it! They forged ahead, and it might be the goal that gets them victory. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. A dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider and forward they go chasing the game wonderfully weighted pass and he read it well a wonderful intervention well, this late corner could represent their last chance to equalise. Who can they pick out? And clears his lines. The referee blows for full time, it ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Yes, Derek, sometimes it takes a while to eventually get the better of the opposition, and that was the case here. They kept going and they eventually got their reward. His performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. 
Well, if anyone deserved to be the match winner, it was him. He played really well today, and what a big goal that was.